90s baby cloud of polished pop dust walks into her old favorite Starbucks on Honeymoon Avenue. Feeling like a dangerous woman, she fills the store with bubbles and bubbly. Ooh. She needs caffeine to break free of this post-show all-nighter feeling. Mole-eyed people hiding behind laptops and Americanos. LA sweethearts with their dogs outside having conversations on this sunny day. And teenagers by their friends on their phones with pink drinks all turn their heads as she walks by. They love it how she moves. Click, 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 and post. When she walks by me, I don't wanna wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, don't wanna wake up because she's such a dream. Does this end? As the stir stick of the coffee shop, she steps right up to the counter, feeling like she's been here all night, been here all day, in a line that has taken forever. The barista, like always, has to hide their starstruckness, for it is against code to break the fourth wall and reveal their admiration. Triple threat latte? Yes, a grande. Ariana, thank you. Next. Bana bana ba, the milk goes bang bang into the espresso. Bana bana ba. Ariana! She's picking it up, picking it up, loving it, living it, picking it up. She strides over to the sweetener counter. Get it, get it, get it, get it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it, mix it and mix it and mix it and mix it. As she's about to leave, I know this is my only chance, so I quickly walk over to her and say, Excuse me, um, I love you. I know that's not the way to start a conversation trouble. I see them other girls coming buggy, but... I felt like I knew you, so I just wanted to hug you. She kindly hugs me and agrees to take a photo. Then she leaves, leaving me to think. Imagine a world like that.